This is Rosemary Catacolis reading the poem, Mr. Chairman Takes His Leave. The epigraph is from Whitman. As to me, I know of nothing else but miracles. In memoria, William Rachel Sinken, 1913-2014. Whitman, you once told me, is democracy on the page, messy and imperfect, as we are in real life, which gave you hope that we would one day make real life true democracy. Ripe blossom, pollen dusting every moment and person, each scampering moat of light. This is why, as you lay dying, I read, I hear America singing, and knew you heard every word and could feel my hand on yours, though you were already moving toward other miracles than this life. A sunflower followed your motion, and a yellow dog stood guard. You who lived the notion that the sun belongs to each and every one, beggars, dreamers, kings, all. You who believed banks could have hearts, for God's sake. You have left it to us, messy and imperfect, as we are and will be, to keep to the work side by side. And as long as it takes, all the while singing of miracles, just as Whitman and you taught us to do. Meanwhile, you were last seen wearing blue plaid pajamas, a contrasting blue plaid bow tie, and surrounded by hummingbirds. Hummingbirds leave Texas in early February migrating north to make new lives. The angle of the sun tells them precisely when to take their leave. They arrive thousands of miles away in mid-May, about the time of your birthday. A sunflower follows your motion. The yellow dog stands guard. about this poem. This poem is a tribute to my former father-in-law, Bill Sinken, who was a centenarian community leader, progressive entrepreneur, and environmental activist in San Antonio, Texas. The family called him Mr. Chairman. The poem is not an elegy because it is not largely mournful on the contrary, it lauds Bill's life and work, holding out the greatest hopes for how they might continue. It is a joyful song, celebrating how Bill's energies remain among us and also move with him to a new realm.